Okay, doke. Uh, first quarter review numbers 26 through 30. 26 is kind of goofy that this displacement versus time graph, and they ask what is the total distance traveled. Well, we got to look at the whole thing. You start uh, by going from zero to eight meters at a constant velocity. You hang out there for a while. Then you go from eight to 16, and then you go from 16 back to eight. And so you traveled eight meters here. You traveled eight meters from eight to 16, and then you traveled eight more meters of distance by coming back to the eight meter mark. And so you traveled a grand total of 24 meters of distance, and that's choice D. If they had said what was the total displacement after 10 seconds, the correct answer would have been 8 meters, because that would just be the straight line from start to finish at the 8 meter mark. But they asked for distance. You've got to add them all up. 27. Oh, where are we? 27. Okay, another graph. Um, which the next three are based on. Displacement versus time. This should be a whatever. Displacement versus time. Um, and I go blah, 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 this funky little curvy thing, and then down at a straight line like that. Okay. When is it at rest? Okay. At rest means that it's not changing position. That is the flat section up here where the slope is equal to zero. Remember, slope is equal to velocity. So that's from... Uh, 2 to 3 seconds. 27 is B. 28 is referring to the same graph. And they say, what is the velocity at T equals 1 second? That's 1 second. This is 2 seconds over here. Uh, to find the velocity, we need to find the slope of this section of the graph. And so we would actually do a little slope calculation. And I would pick these two points at the ends, and I have 3 meters minus 0 meters over 2 seconds here minus 0 seconds, and I get 1.5 meters per second. That's the slope of that section. That is choice D as in delicious. Finally, that's it for that graph. 29 stands on its own, and therefore it must be blue. 29 says, uh, half kilogram of object value, let's uck it. I smell some centripetal force coming up. 0 0.5 kilogram mass, uh, horizontal circular path radius of 0 0.25 meters, and a speed of 4.0 meters per second. And they're asking me for this ex centripetal acceleration. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Guess what we don't need? Mass. Because centripetal acceleration is V squared over R. Uh, and that is 4.0 meters per second squared over 0 0.25 meters. Do the math and you get 64 meters per second squared is your centripetal acceleration. And that is choice D. Finally, number 30. 30. Uh, flipper doodle. Which pair of graphs represents the mo same motion of an object? Okay, I'm going to look at all these choices. Uh, choice A is the correct choice because on displacement time, they show me constantly increasing slope. That means constant acceleration. And on velocity time, they show me constantly increasing velocity, also constant acceleration. All right, uh, choice B. My erasing is not going to be perfect here. This might get a little messy. Choice B in green. Okay, what does this graph show? That graph shows that something is going at a constant velocity, constant and positive velocity, because that slope is positive. Remember, slope of a displacement time is velocity on displacement time. Uh, that's a constant positive slope, constant positive velocity. The correct answer would be that, constant positive velocity. But no, they don't draw that. They draw one down here, which is a constant negative velocity. Incorrect, wrong direction. So this one is wrong. Uh, trying to review some concepts in here. Choice three. Okay, here they show a constant negative velocity. The correct response to that would be a constant negative velocity, but they don't draw that. They draw something at an angle here, which shows me that it's accelerating. Remember, the slope of this graph is equal to acceleration, and that thing has a constant positive slope, so that's constant positive acceleration. Incorrect. The last choice. Why is the last one wrong? Told you this would get messy. I wasn't lying. Uh, last one shows the displacement time going like that. Okay, that shows something which is traveling, first of all, in the positive direction, going slower, 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 till the very tippy top where it has a slope of zero. 
which means it has a velocity of zero and then a negative velocity going faster and faster and faster and faster. That is actually the graph for something that you toss up in the air, it comes back down and you catch it. That thing's accelerating constantly. It starts off fast because it's a steep slope. It has a slope of zero, then it has a negative slope. It's going in the negative direction faster and faster. Yet their velocity time graph they drew is a constant positive velocity. Incorrect. I'll tell you what the right answer would be. It would be something that starts at a positive velocity up here, goes through zero, a velocity of zero, and ends up going in the negative fast direction down here. That would be the correct answer for choice uh, D, but they don't give you that, and so that's why it is right. Finally, 30, that's it, done.